Holly Flavor. Poly Playbook, where we recap and preview Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Alexa Brewington. And I'm Allison Edmonds. This week we recap the year in Cal Poly Athletics and what is to come in the upcoming 2015-2016 school year. But first, we take a look at a San Luis Obispo resident who has an intriguing past. A 10th degree black belt in both Hawaiian Kempo and Kaju Kembo, John Hackelman has trained two UFC champions. Reporter Ju Julian Delgadio has more about the San Luis Obispo resident. ...into the fastest growing sport in the world. Mixed martial arts. It combines speed, power, and toughness. And one of the masters of those tactics, UFC Hall of Famer. Chuck Liddell! Liddell is known for his hard hits and brute force, but something you might not know? His career has roots right here in San Luis Obispo. Yeah. Welcome to the pit. I don't, I don't think they kick hard now than they did in my day. It's just... John Hackleman first opened the gym in Woodland Hills back in 1985. Next thing I know, I started getting a reputation, and people would come up to me and just want to start training with me. And we called it the pit because it was so small. But the pit really took off when he relocated to the Central Coast. Uh, eventually, I got a guy with a mohawk named Chuck Liddell started and uh, took off from there. And Liddell isn't the only person who has learned how to fight at the pit. You're in the gym twice a day, five days a week. Um, you put a lot of time and effort into it. A lot of sparring, a lot of running, a lot of lifting, a lot of push-ups. Mike has been fighting since 2006. He credits all of his success to John. John's really good at a uh, analyzing each one of his athletes or his students and not trying to change them or their natural style. But there's one thing all fighters at the pit come to realize. I walk so much taller and I feel so much better. It changes people's lives. Julian Delgadio, Mustang News. The pit is open to members of all ages and John encourages people to come try out a free lesson. Cal Poly softball took on a tough early season schedule playing the likes of Stanford and Oregon. Head coach Jenny Condon planned the schedule to prepare the team for conference player later this season. Early in her second year, Highland and the rest of the team succeeded. The Mustangs found themselves succeeding early on and Condon felt the team was primed for a playoff push. We've got a great shot. We're in a good position, you know, with five series left to, you know, ideally come out and take all the series. The team lost their stride in a bad way in the latter half of the conference schedule. After two straight series wins, the team went on to lose 11 of their final 12 games to put on a sour note on what started as a promising season. The baseball team finished their season with a series loss against UC Davis, making their final record 27 and 27 overall. Cal Poly finished off their season with a 27 and 27 overall record and a 14 and 10 record in the Big West Conference. The Mustangs had a rough go this year following their most successful season ever with a 47 and 12 record in 2014. After losing key players of the MLB draft, the Mustangs used 2015 as a stepping stone for future success. Junior pitcher Casey Bloomquist says that the team started to come together over the course of the season. I mean, we've had our ups and downs. Kind of the season started off was a was a little slow, but we kind of put things together and uh, kind of started meshing together as a team and started playing better baseball. So we uh, we feel like we're finishing strong. So that's good. Coach Larry Lee and the team remain optimistic going into the 2016 season. The Cal Poly baseball team had a rough season, but senior outfielder Zach Zayner helped boost the team on and off the field. With 43 runs batted in, 9 home runs, and a batting average of 317, senior outfielder Zach Zayner is making a lasting mark on the Cal Poly baseball team. It is both his second and last season as Mustang, but he has had many baseball experiences that have led him to where he is today. I played in high school. I went to a junior college, San Barbara City College, and played there for three years. And, you know, uh, I loved it there, and I had the opportunity to come here, and I visited once, and I fell in love with this place, and, you know, other than Santa Barbara, this is probably the best place in the world. 
after getting drafted in the seventh round of the MLB draft for the Toronto Blue Jays in 2014, Zach decided to stay at Cal Poly and finish out his college baseball career. It's been unreal, you know, I got drafted last year, but I love it here so much I had to come back for another year. Um, the guys on the team are great, they're my best friends, and I didn't want to give that up yet. Coming off of the Big West Conference Championship last year, the Mustangs didn't start off as well as hoped. But with being such a young team, they have started to come into their own. Um, we've grown a lot. I mean, we're a very, very young team. We lost a, a lot of big key parts, a lot of team leaders from last year. So I think we've learned a lot. We've grown a lot as individuals and as a team. And I think, you know, um, with more time, we'll just get better. with some team members hoping to be drafted by the MLB in June. Coming up after the break, Tom Nork will talk about Cal Poly golf and football. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. And now we will be going to Tom Nork to talk about some Cal Poly golf and football. Tom? Thank you, Alexa. Thank you, Allison. Uh, following an exciting <clears throat> season that ended in cruel fashion, the Cal Poly football team is preparing to answer the questions that remained after last year's 8-8 eight eight season. Senior defensive Stars uh, <clears throat> Tyler Astley and Bert DeConing look to anchor a defensive unit that faltered at times last year. Both seniors were standouts in the spring football game. The senior quarterback, Chris Brown, broke numerous rushing records last season, and that will be difficult to top. But an offensive line that is returning all five starters from last season should keep the senior quarterback healthy and ready to run. And. From the gridiron to the putting green, the golf team is looking to build on their postseason experience this season. Sophomore Justin De Los Santos led the men's golf team to a fifth place finish in the Big West Tournament. To add to their on-the-course success, the team earned national honors for improvement in the classroom. After winning the individual Big West Tournament, De Los Santos moved to the San Diego leg of the NCAA Tournament, but ultimately finished 61st in the field. The golfers will participate in amateur tournaments over the summer to keep sharp. And chips, putts, and sinks, I certainly can't wait for another golf season to get back into gear. Allison, Alexa, back to you. Thank you, Tom. Can't wait for next season. Same. After making its first ever NCAA tournament in 2014, the Cal Poly men's basketball could not repeat the same feat in 2015. The Mustangs were in the same situation to start the 2015 Big West Tournament as in 2014. Unfortunately, seventh-seeded Cal Poly fell to the Gauchos this time in closing seconds. As the hero of 2014, Richie, Richie Shipley was denied a layup in the closing minutes. The Mustangs finished the season 13 and 16 overall and will look to improve after graduating two senior starters, Michael Bolden and Malik Love. And forward Zach Gordon will be returning from injury. The women's basketball team had its seventh consecutive season with a winning record while continuing to reach historic milestones this past season. With a mostly young squad, the women's basketball team still managed to finish with a 10-6 record and placed third in the Big West Conference. Their season came to an end in the Big West quarterfinals with a final score of 55-48 against Cal State Fullerton. The Mustangs are expected to bring back four seniors, four juniors, six sophomores, and two redshirts in the 2015-2016 season. They will also be joined by newcomers from three different states. After seeing their season come to an end on penalty kicks in the Big West Tournament semifinals against Long Beach State, the women's soccer team is looking for a chance at redemption in the fall. The spring ex exhibition games consisted of a focus on player development over the month-long stretch of games that ended in early May. Coach Alex Crozier said that they were also focusing on attack so that come fall, there aren't just one or two players carrying the load. The spring games ended with four wins, one tie, and zero losses for the Mustangs. Their upcoming fall schedule will be announced in the weeks to come. And that's all for Poly Playbook this week and this year. We will be ready in the fall to come back for some more sports action. I'm super excited. Yeah, lots of football, some soccer. Looking forward to it. So well, keep you updated. See you in the fall. Here's some in soccer footage.